Hi friends, this video is about nutrition. I am going to talk about what nutrition I use, how I use, how frequently I use, how much I use, how I am going to mix up. So everything I am going to talk in this video. So when it comes to nutrition, these two are my favorite nutritions. One is Aerogode nutrition and one is Maxi Grow nutrition. When it comes to usage, Aerogode nutrients is my favorite. It is ready to use and it is pH buffered. So we don't need to do anything. Just dump the nutrition into the bowl and let it do its job. So I use it not only in Aerogarden, but I also use it in all the other hydroponic systems such as I do lead pod, spider farmer, mafga, mars hydro, etc. When it comes to the cost, Maxi Grow is my favorite nutrition. Very, very, very economical. Of course, these are dry nutrients, so there is little bit of work involved here, but it is very easy and very straightforward. All we need to do is take some dry nutrition, some meaning like uh, depending on your usage, depending on how much you want to use. I'll talk about how much we need to use, but we just have to take the nutrition into a bowl some or a bottle, something like this and add some water and shake it very well until all the solids are dissolved. And once the solids are dissolved, just dump it into the bowl. Not that difficult, right? Yeah, once we get used to it, it is very easy and straightforward. But it is not as easy or as straightforward as using the aerogaden nutrients. But for the money that I am saving with Maxigrow nutrients, I will go with it. Even after lots of shaking, we still see some solids in the bottle. It's okay to dump it as is. You don't need to worry about little bit of undissolved solids. But if you're really concerned about it, you can use a filter. This is the tea filter I use. I dedicated it for gardening. So you can use a small filter like this and you can filter the solution. Anyway, all the nutrients are already absorbed into the water. So the little bit of uh, leftover solids are it's okay to throw out. Now let's talk about what nutrients I use for what plants and what hydroponic systems. Actually, irrespective of the hydroponic system, for all herbs, lettuce, leafy green vegetables, and even radishes, I use maxi grow nutrients. It works very well. And for some leafy greens, I really like the taste of leaves that are grown with maxi grow compared to the leaves that are grown with aerogarden nutrients. Especially when it comes to cilantro, I like the cilantro a lot better that is grown with maxi grow compared to the cilantro that was grown with aerogarden nutrients. So when it comes to cilantro, I always prefer to go with maxi grow nutrients. Of course, I still use aerogarden nutrients once in a while because I am a little bit lazy, but maxi grow is my favorite and maxi grow is my preference. Now let's talk about how much MaxiGrow I use. For all the leafy green vegetables, herbs, lettuce and radishes, I just use half a teaspoon for every one liter of water. If you look at my previous videos, you might hear different things because in the earlier days of using MaxiGrow nutrients, I was not knowing all the facts and I was also a little greedy. So I was using a one teaspoon for every one liter of water but over the period i learned that we don't need that much nutrition even using one teaspoon for every one liter of water never killed any plants but i just learned that we don't need that much nutrition so nowadays i'm just using half a teaspoon for every one liter of water irrespective of what hydroponic system i use and how many plants i use I simply take half a teaspoon of nutrients into a small bottle like this and add about 100 ml of water. Then shake it very well until all the solids are dissolved or most of the solids are dissolved. Then dump the solution straight into the bowl and add one liter of water. So that's how I keep things very simple and straightforward. And I recently learned that I can even grow cherry tomatoes using maxi grow nutrients. 
So I ran an experiment very recently. I already posted the video. I have grown a tiny tim cherry tomatoes using just the maxi grown nutrients. I did not use the whole series like maxi bloom, etc. And I did not even add calcium or magnesium supplements. So just these nutrients worked very well. Of course, these nutrients also has some calcium and magnesium. So this basically all I needed to grow tiny tim cherry tomatoes and the results were very 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 good and they were extremely close to the results that came with aerogod in nutrients so maybe from now on i might use maxigro nutrients even for all cherry tomatoes i never experimented with other plants like big size tomatoes or peppers eggplants etc so far i experimented with all the leafy green vegetables herbs lettuce and tomatoes recently so i'm happy to use maxi grow for all of them now when it comes to aero garden i prefer to use it for all fruiting plants like tomatoes peppers eggplants cucumbers etc i use this aero garden nutrients for all fruiting plants in all hydroponic systems that could be spider farmer i do a hope garden lead pot doesn't matter what hydroponic system i use I can use aerogarden nutrients for all the fruiting plants and I always start with a 3 ml for every 1 liter of water. For example, if I am using a Hope Garden 8 pod hydroponic system which has the bowl capacity of 3 liters, I start with 9 ml of nutrition and as the plants get into fruiting, flowering and even ripening stages, so I start increasing the nutrition a little by little. There is no definitive answer, you can just judge how much you want. As I start with 3 ml of nutrition for every 1 liter of water, when it goes to flowering, I bump it up to 4 ml for every 1 liter of water and observe it. If the results are good, I will just stick to that. But if I think the results are not up to my satisfaction, I will bump it up another ml, maybe 5 ml for every 1 liter of water. But I don't think we need more than 5 ml of uh, aerogarden nutrients for 1 liter of water. I think the max is 5 ml for 1 liter and the minimum is even 2 ml for every 1 liter of water. So that's how I use aerogarden nutrients. Normally aerogarden nutrients are a bit expensive. I normally look for deals and load them up. I have uh, some aerogarden nutrients which are probably 2 years old. They still work very well. I don't even look at the expiration. I don't know if there is any expiration on the bottle. Hmm. I couldn't see any expiration on the bottle though. So, looks like these nutrients never expire. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't really take it. This is a pre-mixed uh, nutrients, so definitely they have their own expiration. But I can definitely use it for two or three years because I am evidently using uh, some bottles from two years old. So definitely I can load it up and use it for a couple of months or maybe years. There are many other nutrient options like using Master Blend which can save even more money. However, I haven't mentioned it because Master Blend requires a lot of mixing and adjustments. While this is not a big deal for experienced gardeners, it can be discouraging for hobbyists. I prefer to keep things simple to avoid giving up. My goal is to inspire everyone to grow their own food, which is why I avoid anything that requires a lot of effort. Alright, that's pretty much I want to mention about the nutrition. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.